Hi, I would like to talk today about module name ESP8266, which is all the versions that we see now in the screen. So we have uh, this version connected with uh, eight pins. We have the basic module, uh, which has a connection, and you have to solder wire or pins or something. We have the connection with an adapter board that can be connected uh, with 100 mils spacing pins and we have the development board which is the most easy way to start uh, because we don't have uh, to connect all the GPIO in order to set all the options. Now before I start, in order to see what it can do so I will show my program that uh, is controlling my uh, door. I can unlock and lock my door from any place uh, using a web. And I will show it now. Okay, so this is my web uh, page. Uh, and I have to enter here a password in order to make it work and I can do the lock and unlock what's special about uh, the program that I wrote is that I can see actually two things one if uh, the door is really open or not although I gave a lock or unlock command and I also can see if the command actually uh, is going to the door and of course I can see if the password that I entered is ok or is uh, it is wrong so uh, let's do an example if I put no password or wrong password and now the door is locked and I want to unlock it it will not do anything because the password is wrong now if I will put the correct password and now do an unlock I can see that it is changed the door is open ok but the relay got the unlock command and the password is ok and also uh, you might be able to hear the relay uh, click I will do it again try to hear the relay click uh, while now I'm trying to lock it now the password is wrong so he did not lock the door I will put the correct password and again give a lock command not working because in order to make it send something I have to change the option so let's do it again the password is ok I will give a lock and try to hear uh, the relay and see that it will ch be changed here and here the door will be closed so again ok I hope you could hear it so what is really special about this model is that in order to uh, do what I have shown you just need a very few lines of code what is so special about this model is third that it is very very cheap this version of the model costs about between one dollar to two dollars and the development board is about let's say five or six dollar develop board is just a connection between USB and UART you need to connect to this board uh, through UART and also it is changing the voltage from 5 volt to 3.3 because this model is 3.3 volt only another important thing when you get this model it comes with a basic code that might be not very suitable for your need so in order to make it work easy and simple you need to burn to it something that is called Node MCU. The Node MCU 
is a code uh, that enable the Lua uh, scripting language uh, you have uh, some data uh, over the net about it not a lot but uh, if I could do it so basically I'm sure that you will be able to do it so when you get this model first you need to change the code in this model so you will need to download the node MCU firmware programmer once you've connected it to your USB and with cable to the board you can flash uh, the board you will see that it gets your uh, AP Mac and STA Mac uh, of uh, your model and computer and start do the flashing of the node MCU uh, node MCU code into this chip so uh, this chip is basically doing all the connection to the Ethernet or internet very easily using a uh, Wi-Fi so you connect via Wi-Fi and in order to connect to your router you just need about three commands and that's all it will do everything for you you have 10 GPIOs that you control also this chip has I2C interface and your interface and uh, and some more uh, one wire interface you see now it is green so uh, it was burned ok and now you can uh, start to work with it you are working with, it, with this one with this explorer this is the best tool that I have found in this uh, tool you can write your program and burn it into the ESP another important thing is uh, to give the name for your code init.lua because just with this name uh, it will run automatically if you will not put this name it will run but you will need to run it with a command and if you want to run it as a standalone you will need uh, to burn your code with the name init.lo another great thing about it is that it has a lot of memory it's about uh, it's exactly 4 megabytes of memory with, which is hard uh, to empty let's say to write uh, such a long code and this let's say module is more about web interface and IOT which is Internet of Things so you just want to use this model in order to get data analyze it and if you want to write data you will not write it to the model but you will write it to a web server or something like this uh, and you have interpreter which says that if you give a command it will automatically uh, do it for example w is equal to 4 and I will send it, let's do a reset reset, to, let's connect again the software is not 100% stable but if you already uh, make it to work usually it will work without a problem okay so I will run the Lua again because uh, it is doing some crashes, not a lot but usually it is stable okay now I will give a command W is equal to 4 and send it and now I can do print W and this is already running and working and I will get uh, what I have write to W so you can run the command step by step before writing your program 
and uh, save in it and uh, init.lu uh, also you can reset the chip from here get a chip ID and uh, heap which is uh, the memory let's say uh, the RAM memory that is left this is not the ROM that you're writing your code but uh, you can see the RAM if you are out of RAM you will get something that is called panic when the chip is not working anymore and cannot do anything uh, later I will share my code my example code which is based on demo that I've downloaded from a uh, node NCU and I've changed it according my need because in the example they have uh, just web uh, led on and off and this was not enough for my need uh, the architecture that I'm using to do um, to do this door uh, locking on and off is after I thought a little about it and I will explain why if I'm uh, sending a command so I can't be sure that it go to this model so what I'm doing I'm using one GPIO to send the command and one GPIO as input to see if the command was sent this is the same GPIO let's say I've chosen GPIO 1 as output so GPIO 2 will be as input and they will be connected to each other in this way if I'm sending command I can be sure that it got out because if it will not be sent out so this relay command will not be changed after choosing the command here the other thing that I want to uh, to see is if the door is actually closed or open if I send a command and my, uh, my is working on uh, electromagnetic so I want to make sure that the door is really closed so I have another sensor that actually read if the door is uh, mechanically let's say closed or open so by these uh, three things I can be sure if the door was closed or not and if the command was sent out or not thank you very much